I am California of the past. I am California of the past. I am California of the past. When asked to describe the desert, most people would use words like hot, dry, barren, or scorching. But in my little corner of the Mojave Desert, especially in the spring, it is anything but that. I grew up in Lancaster, California, on the edge of the Mojave Desert in an area called the Antelope Valley. Each spring, my family eagerly anticipated the coming of the poppies. Some years were better than others, depending on how much rain we had during the winter. Too much rain, and the poppies would be choked by weeds. Too little, and the poppies would not have enough to grow. And even with just the right amount of rain, if it was too windy, the poppies would close up. And believe me, in the Antelope Valley, it was windy a lot. But on the perfect day, the poppies were spectacular, carpeting fields and hillsides with a brilliant orange. There were other flowers, too tiny gold fields covering the desert floor, purple owl's clover, blue lupin, yellow fiddle necks, and white tidy tips. But the poppies were what we waited for. In those days, almost 50 years ago, we didn't have to go very far. On a sunny, windless day, we would pile into our blue station wagon and my father would drive to the end of the pavement and follow the dirt roads until we found a field of poppies. I asked my mother if we ever had a picnic, and she said, Are you kidding? The flowers were only ten minutes away. But people driving up from Los Angeles often made a day of viewing the flowers and would bring a lunch to eat among them. Sometimes the poppy fields stretched as far as the eye could see, and we would walk some distance from the car and sit or even lie down in a blanket of color soaking up the sunshine. California poppies don't have a very strong odor, but we would sniff them anyway and stroke the soft, almost silky petals. I'm sure there must have been all kinds of insects, lizards, and even snakes amid the flowers, but we were careful where we stepped, and we never saw any. Today, although I haven't lived in the Antelope Valley for 30 years, I still try to make a trip to the desert in the springtime. Since I only have a few days, my mother tries to predict which weekend the poppies will be at their best. She will call me to announce the first poppy sighting of the year, and then I plan my trip, bringing with me whoever I can round up. But it is hard to predict the wind, and some years it has been terrifically windy and cold. We still go out, though, all bundled up in our hair flying every which way. The poppy fields aren't quite what they were 50 years ago, with housing tracks and shopping centers taking up much of the land. But with the establishment of the Antelope Valley Poppy Reserve, the poppies will be with us for years to come. It has become a favorite place for my family to visit each spring, and we go armed with flower identification guides, water, and suntan lotion. Cold and windy, or sunny and bright, the display of flowers never fails to delight us.